wine, cranberry sauce, or sweet potatoes? Dr. G's got some answers for us tonight. Up next, find out just how many calories are hidden in some of your favorite Thanksgiving foods. Plus, we have some healthy and realistic alternatives. You don't want to miss that right after the break. Time now for a look at your health, and we are talking turkey quite literally with Thanksgiving just a few days away now. It's a time of year a lot of us can pack on some extra pounds, but it doesn't have to be. Here to help us with some healthy, really kind of a strategy plan, if you will, for Thanksgiving is Dr. G. We call him uh, Dr. Mitchell <laughs> Goldman as well from UCSD. Thank you for being with us. Good to be here. Well, let's talk about not walking out looking like the entree itself. So let's <laughs> begin with how much is usually a Thanksgiving dinner you know, in terms of calories? It's and pretty amazing. Normally, a normal person should eat about 2,000, 2,500 calories a day. Okay. Normally, a dinner is going to be about 1,500 calories, but a Thanksgiving dinner is usually 3,000 calories. <laughs> so it's more than you usually eat in an entire day. No wonder we're napping afterward, right? It really, and no wonder that people gain a few pounds during the holiday season. Okay, so let's dissect the turkey. What's the healthiest and, and most unhealthy portions of it or parts of it? You know, it? turkey actually is a pretty healthy meal to mm -hmm. eat. But actually, if you want to conserve calories, white meat is less caloric or has less calories than dark meat. So that's a good thing for, uh, for turkey. Also, it turns out that gravy, which we always like to put over everything, is probably the worst thing to, to put on. Really? So that's the biggest offender you think oh, in your book? Gravy is because gravy is basically fat. And so we're just pouring <laughs> fat on. So My heart is breaking as I you know, <laughs> But we can make gravy a little bit better by using just a, a vegetable stock instead of the turkey stock. So that's a little way to, to do it better. That's a great tip. So let's talk about the mashed potatoes. I'm Irish, so they're always a big part of our meals. What's better, mashed potatoes or stuffing in terms of calorie? We got both you right know, here. Both of them are not that great uh, when you when you talk <laughs> about calories. Stuffing's probably going to be a little bit better than the mashed potatoes. But the most important thing is not just what we're eating, portion size. Okay. So that's a very important thing. It's always great to taste everything at the table because mom or whoever's m cooking or me is going to be very upset if you don't taste everything. But portion control. And you, usually is that the size of your fist? It's is usually, that exactly, Kath. It's the size of a fist. Now, ways that we can do portion control is don't get drunk. So don't drink a lot because when you're drinking a lot, not I'm only... I'm sorry, have you been to one of my family <laughs> gatherings? <laughs> no, mine, because not only are you having a good time, but you're going to be a little less inhibited and so you're going to eat a, a little bit more. So it's important when we're eating, drink fluids and drink water or other fluids that don't have a lot of calories in them. Yeah, That'll alcohol fill you plays a, a big factor in that, uh, certainly. Let's talk about the dessert because you brought along uh, yes. some pies, pumpkin brought... pie, of course, being the staple. What's the best dessert in you know, terms of it's amazing. Off the pounds? Pumpkin pie is by and far, by uh, far away the best dessert. The really? least amount of calories. Pecan pie, the absolute highest amount of calories. And apple pie somewhere in the middle. So absolutely, pumpkin pie is what we should be eating. Filled with beta carotene, so pretty healthy right. for you as well. One piece only. Again, keep away from the ice cream and also the whipped cream. Well, if you, you can. can, you can do like a, a whipped cream that's that's low on calories, like a Cool Whip kind of thing. Okay. But I wouldn't put Haagen Dazs on this or Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> well, you mentioned liquor and uh, adult beverages, so let's talk about wine and eggnog. What's the better option? You know, wine. Eggnog has so many calories in it. It's like eating a, 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 a drinking a gallon of wine. So you want to limit the eggnog. Just a sip would be nice. But wine, absolutely. You go for a glass or so of wine. Or you can do light beers if you're going to do your uh, turkey that's maybe deep fried with a light beer. That's also a good way to go. And you also just have some general um, health tips. Walk after eating. Drink plenty of water. And you already mentioned portion control. So that's a pretty good strategy. Yeah. Take a walk as a family after dinner and that burns some absolutely. calories, right? And why don't you ride your bike to Grandma's house for Thanksgiving? <laughs> so if you're going to do it, you know, know that you're going to overeat. It's what we do on Thanksgiving. Be thankful for the fact that we have all this wonderful all food. Right. But exercise before, family walk after. Well, we're always grateful for your participation in Good the 6 o'clock news hour. And have a wonderful Thanksgiving with you your too, family. You too, Kathleen, and for everyone. All right, Lauren, over to you. Kathleen, Dr. Goldman talked about portion control. You use great self-control and not uh, ribbon him about his apron.